days it was just like any other protest. There were placards, whistles, even horns. But look carefully and you'll see that several of the protesters gathered outside Hampshire County Council this afternoon were in their 90s. They were there to make their voices heard at a meeting to decide whether to reduce the level of support of their care homes. Roger Flynn reports. <laughs> Preparing to change the mind. Quaker Court in Ringwood consists of some 30 flats for elderly residents too vulnerable to live alone. It provides what's known as extra care. There are two staff on site around the clock, funded by Hampshire County Council. The proposal is to cut that to a single warden during weekdays only, with no night cover, and to do the same at a similar home in Fording Bridge. I feel sorry for these poor people, what they're being put through, and this is what I'm doing. Residents, friends and family boarded the coach to Hampshire County Hall. We want somebody here 24 hours a day. She might not necessarily have a medical problem, it might be something really simple that she's worried about, but it's just the thought that she can press a button and there's somebody there. The campaign has already had some success. The original proposal was to remove all staff from the homes. Today was decision day and a chance to speak out. Council officers argued no one at Quaker Court had been assessed as needing night care, but that all care needs would be met. In the end, the decision to remove night staff went ahead, but with a concession, a promise to continue looking for new ways to provide support at Quaker. We're delighted that we've managed to secure funding for daytime cover, and we're delighted that we've managed to get a deferral for a few more months whilst they look further into other possible funding options. The feeling that we've done something about it, we just didn't sit down and take it. We got up and fought it, and that I think is very important. Roger Finn for BBC.